good day, everybody. I hope you are having a good Tuesday. Uh, for those of you in the U.S., which I don't think there's many of you right now watching, um, this is your Monday, so hopefully it's going well. But for those of us, it's Tuesday. So hopefully you had a good weekend and your day's going good. Oliver, hello. Caroline, hello. It is good to see you both. Um, let's go ahead and jump with introductions really quick before we dive into anything. So, hello everybody. You know what? Hold on. Sandrine, hello. My name is Sean Kozel. I'm a photographer. I am based in Germany. Gareth, good day, sir. Uh, if you're watching this on Behance, which I see some of you in chat, you can click on my icon. Actually, it's more like that way now, since I switched sides. You can click on my icon. It'll take you to my, my homepage, my Behance page. And initially, it will take you here to my live streams. Feel free to jump over and check out my past work. Sir Can, hello. Um, also, if you like what I do, feel free to subscribe. Uh, and if you're looking for any links underneath my name, you will see I have a link tree with all the links possible. And also, so if you scroll down and you don't want to go to my link tree, you can join my Discord from here, check out my website and other stuff. Stephen Booth, hello. Speaking of my link tree, if you jump over here, you will see a series of different um, links. Pretty much every place where I am on the internet, that's you can find me there. So, jumping over into the Discord. For those of you that were here last week, um, we did a community how I edit your photos. And I was thinking about continuing on today because I ended up getting a bunch of photos from Lydia and also from Bruce. Um, we had some issues trying to bring them up. Oh, and Vikram. Vikram sent me some too, uh, AKA Vicky. <clears throat> We had some issues on the stream of getting them downloaded, but I was able to figure it out off stream. So we're good to go. Uh, but I decided we're gonna go in a different direction. But in the near future, we will be editing those photos. So if you have any, Lydia, hello, I'm just talking about you. So if you have any unedited photos, feel free to put it in your photos to edit and I will edit them live. Um, also, I've changed up my Behance, or excuse me, my Discord just a little bit. Uh, for the community, we still have the community artwork and project feedback and also your shop links. So those are really the community um, uh, feeds. Also, I have added a challenge category and we've got the old art and space create waves and five summer things i also have the new creative circus um it is a upcoming challenge community challenge uh usually i make the assets beforehand um let's actually go to a better looking screen yeah let's look at bruce's work while while, while i talk um, <clears throat> normally I make assets, I get everything ready to go for these challenges beforehand, and I started doing that again. And by the way, thank you to Sandrine, uh, for helping me out this past weekend. Um, so I was throwing around some ideas on, uh, some assets, coming up with some stuff. So today, not only am I going to be working in Illustrator, but we, as the community, are going to do the same thing as we did with Art and Space, where I want to know where you've been when it comes to circuses. Like, I know we have people from all over the world, all different backgrounds everywhere. Sandrine says, you've been more help than I was. It goes both ways, Sandrine. It does. 
I appreciate helping you out as much as uh, I appreciate that you help me out. Uh, so I want to know, so start thinking about this. I want to know where you're from, where you grew up, or even where you are today. What circuses are like? This is kind of the idea that I've got. So the, the creative circus is an extremely highly used um jump over to illustrator it's a highly used term and as i was searching and trying to figure out if i had if i could use the term creative circus i was searching instagram i was searching hashtags and the answer is no <laughs> It is, it is well used. So um, I have changed up the spelling to uh, going with a creative circus with more K's. So I know several places in the world spell creative, K-R-E-A-T-I-V, with an E sometimes, with an, uh, maybe not an E. Michelle, hello. And there's even a movie and some places spell circus this way also. So um, I kind of took it both ways, you know. That's going to be the hashtag is going to be creative circus. Okay, I saw some Oliver said something about circuses. Oliver says I haven't been to a circus in a long, very long time. Me too. Um, you've seen my last, you've, you've seen my last visit to a circus. Gareth, yes, that's right, that's right. Um, Gareth is talking about he was at a Fuji, I believe, I believe it was a Fuji workshop that was taking place at a circus or, yeah, something like that. Lydia says, this is my first time hearing about it. My English teacher would have circled this word spelling with a K in it. Yes, yes, this is totally for English, at least American English, this is um, the wrong spelling. But going with a causal challenge, I wanted to change things up. So, I don't know. I. This was a dilemma. This was a big dilemma, to be honest. But, all right. We are just diving into stuff right away. Um, so, let me give you a little bit of background of what I started doing. And, first off, <clears throat> I jumped into Adobe Fonts. And, actually, no. Let's do this. Let's go a different direction here. I jumped into Adobe Stock and I was looking up circus posters and getting an idea. At some point, I'm going to make an old style retro circus poster. And so as you can see on Adobe Stock, I'm on the free, free, Oliver says, I often feel like my life is a circus or I'm a clown. One of these. <laughs> Vikram, hello. Uh, so I was jumping in just to kind of get an idea of what is going on. And this jumped out to me. I really enjoyed the font for the circus. Uh, and, and I was inspired by Umicorn, who's not here yet. Umicorn is another streamer on Behance. And she is actually making a ticket right now on her streams for her stream assets. So I was inspired by those fonts and I jumped over into Adobe fonts and started searching. Umicorn is here. Umicorn, I didn't even see you come in. Hi, Umicorn. Umicorn is another streamer, everybody. Oh my goodness, that's funny. That's thank you for that, Oliver. Um, 
So let's jump back on over into Illustrator. And <laughs> she actually is. She snuck in. Umicorn is sneaky. So there's two fonts that I found. And one is zebra wood and the other is rose wood. And I was kind of playing around with them. Linda, hello. Of which way I like them. And um, there's always, you know, with posters, you've, you, circuses are supposed to be fun. Now, this is the question that I have for, for many of you. When we talk about circuses, we've got a traditional circus, the old style circus. Um, now you've got these new type of circuses, uh, circles, uh, Circus Olay, Circus Olay. You've got the, you know, the the acrobatic, um, gymnastic type of people flying everywhere. Uh, then you got these kind of scary circuses that are happening. And this is at least where, you know, in the States that I've seen. You've got the guys, Cirque, Cirque du Soleil. Oh my gosh, yes. It's French. <clears throat> not gonna say it um <laughs> so you've got the scary circuses where it's like the lizard guy where he's tattooed all over his body and he's fork tongue and just circus of oddities maybe so we've got a huge array that we can talk about today um cool typeface yeah i like these fonts and just, just so you know, again, if you're on Adobe Fonts, you can look it up, Zebra Wood and Rose Wood. Those are the two fonts that I've got going right now. Um, next off, let me go ahead. We're gonna grab these. We're gonna move these out of the way. And uh, next off, I jumped into color.adobe.com, which, might as well do it. We're, we're talking about it. Technically, it's Canadian, but French Canadian. I did not know that. General, hello. All right, so on the Adobe fonts, I jumped into the Explore and um, what did I do? Was it? I think I just searched circus whoa mr booth <laughs> uh, wow mafu hello um yeah okay i see a bunch of people coming in let's jump back over here <clears throat> just to bring everybody up to speed we have a new creative challenge community challenge coming up and the title is going to be Creative Circus. Now the term, just going through this really quickly, the term Creative Circus, spelled with C's, um, is, is very widely used. So I wanted to find something that we could have a, a hashtag that is just for us. So I changed the spelling up a bit. Curfew General. Oh my gosh, I did not think we were going to be getting that. Holy shnikes. I'm surprised the stream isn't your collab with Sean. Oh, we're still working on it, Mafu. That's going to be coming up in the future. And who knows? Um, I am thinking of asking somebody to possibly... Um, I, I haven't asked yet, so I'm not saying you but I'm going to ask somebody to join me to create something for their, this challenge. I don't know. I don't know. I'll, I'll have to see. But yes, this is what the hashtag is going to be today. This is kind of an announcement, but it's really preemptive. I'm not doing a, a, um, a true announcement yet, but just so you know, Jumping back over into the Discord, scrolling up above my head, we've got a new section called Challenges, and there is the Creative Circus Challenge. Okay. 
Um... <laughs> Oliver says, wait, there's a collab coming with Sandrine? You kept that quiet. It's actually not a, going to be a collaboration. So that's okay. Um, no, 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 Mafu, it's fine. It's more like a trailer. Oh my goodness, all right. You spelled circus with a K as well. I did. I did. I. Why not? To be honest, Oliver, I, I like how this looks. Um, this one here is probably my favorite. That one. Um, I really like that. I, I, I like it. So that's what we're going with. Creative Circus. It's the Krusty the Clown Creative Circus. General. General's on fire today. Oh my goodness. Hopefully, we don't, yeah. Oh, you were making sandwiches. That's funny. Um, the stream is not brought to you by The Simpsons. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, I've gotten our title font. I went over, now we're jumping back in, tons of tangents here, which is perfectly fine. Jumped, at, jumped in and started looking at some colors. Um, so I downloaded a few color palettes that I liked. So let's jump back into Illustrator, going into my libraries. And I've got a library set up, spelled with the Ks. And I've got a couple palettes going on. Um, I really like, it's the Wandering Dreamers. I like that. If we go to Krusty's Creative Circus, do we get free Krispy Kremes? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, circus is good. It's not confusing at all, actually, for the spelling. Is this about a font challenge? No, no, it's not. By the word, circus sounds like a fun challenge. I'm excited to grab a few inspirations. <clears throat> okay, I, I want some inspiration from you, from those of you in chat. So <clears throat> this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna grab the text tool. We are Let's jump back into our properties and ah, let's do a semi bold. Let's go ahead, increase the size a little bit. Oh, Caroline, Caroline, do I need to change my name to Caroline with a K? Now, <clears throat> it, uh, I, I'm trying to spell things properly. I, my wife had some questions about if I was going to spell circus with a, um, with a K. And I was like, no, that is way too many K's. And if, um, if somebody decides to call it like the Kozel Creative Circus, we would have way too many K's and I don't want to be affiliated with that. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's what we've got going on there. <clears throat> All right, this is going to be our brief now. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and get things started. First off, we are going to go with some basics. Big top. Let's...
we've got big top hitting T for text, command A, um, three ring circus. Lions, bears, uh, ringmaster, frog, hello, trained dogs. Okay, I like that. I did not think of that. I'm gonna to have to go through back through chat shortly, see if there's anything. <clears throat> okay. <sighs> Umicorn says that's the uh, Dutch spelling of Caroline. Interesting. The Kozel Flying Circus. Uh, all right. What did I missed a lot? I think. I think when it comes to circus, vibrant colors are the first thing come to mind. Clowns, Mafu, Mafu, clowns. With this chat, I should have put that first. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, this is the creative circus. Ooh, that would have been good with a Z. Oh, I like that. Um, all right, now I'm now I'm trying to make up through chat. Uh, what is the limit of how many K's can sh Uh, the limit, Mafu, of K's are two. That's the limit. No more. Uh, there's a giant animated foot descending on the screen and squashes everything? What the heck? Okay. Oh, okay, I get that now. That's funny. Um, voodoo. Bruce says I like the big top. A magician? Mmm... I do oh Mafu said little Sean. Ah uh, Petakin, hello. Welcome in from Twitch. Good to see you. And lurk away. Lurk away. Um okay. My wife did suggest if I was gonna be bringing little Sean out, and I think I said no. We are gonna put in magician because this is for all of us. Um The bearded man. No, isn't the bearded woman? Or are you talking about me, Gareth? <laughs> uh, Muhammad, hello. Good to see you. Um, that's old school. That's really old school. But let's, let's, we've got the bearded woman. Oh, 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 you know what? Ah, uh, ah, uh, I've got one. Okay, that's a lot of bearded women. Um, gotta have the wolf boy. And I am way far behind in chat. Killer clowns, no. Uh, make sure it's not 3Ks, absolutely. Rings of flames, rings of flames. Uh, Acrobats, like that. I don't know if they're the same trapeze artists. Um, Caroline, that how it's spelled? I, I don't know if that's how it's spelled. But I, uh, I could be wrong. Linda clowns. That's funny. Um, trapeze. I I think. Well, okay. Uh, where are we? It is. Easy E. Easy E's. Um. 
Oh, the horses. Horses. Um. Yep, you gotta have the horses. And apes. See that, Umicorn? Okay. Magician. Crowds? Oh my goodness. <clears throat> For you, Mafu. <sighs> Popcorn stand. Oh. If, if we start getting into food, knife thrower. Oh, I am way behind chat. I'm sorry, everybody. Um, but this is awesome. This is, this is great. I think we may need three columns. I don't know. We'll give it a go. Knife thrower. I like that. Um, greatest, oh, greatest showman on, or greatest, no, that's a tagline, that's a tagline, I don't think I'm going to use that one, tigers, not sure, how, okay, we're back on, lion tamer, I think that's with lions, um but let's let's put it in because it could be two different things the lion tamer wow you guys are on fire the elephants thank you frank snake charmer oh and great spelling there <laughs> oh my goodness Whoops. Ah, uh, who Daredevil Vikram? Oh, I like that. Daredevil. Is it Daredevil one word? I don't know. Daredevil. I like that. Ooh, old school going with a fortune tellers. <clears throat> Um, Mafu's asking, wait, do they perform acrobats and circuses? Yes, they do. Ale Alexandra? Hello? Or Alexandra? Pop popcorn stand. Yes, I like that. We've got popcorn stand. Uh, the automated fortune teller, like in the movies, big. Yep, that's funny. Strong man. I like that. All right, what did I miss? <laughs> Stilt walking. Oh, what is that called? Um, do 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 these. Uh, we'll take that. We'll take that. Mafu, little Sean finally gets recognized by his creator. It's because he gets more credit than I do. Oh. <laughs> Juggler, Vikram, you're on fire. Guys on motorbikes jumping around. I would have to say yes. Um... We're going to go old school and call it motorbike. Oh, like ball of death. Evie, hello. Um, stunts, stunts. There we go. Motorbike stunts. That's what we need. Okay. The cannon guy. 
getting shot out of a cannon. Shot out of a cannon. Perfect. Escape artist. I am trying to type these as fast as I can, so I guarantee that there are some wrong ones. Divers high, um, um, oh, what are those called? The high, high dives, high dives, high divers. Oh, these are awesome, everybody. Rodeo clowns, but in a circus. Yeah, I think that's going to just go underneath clowns. We're going to call it that. And if I've missed anybody, please put it in against chat. I'm, I'm trying to, to catch everything. Um, all right, everyone saying hello to Evie. Clown car. Yeah, I, we can go with that. I like that one. Because I tell you, you end up seeing a little tiny car at a circus, you know what it is. The Cannon Man. Oh, I spelled it like the camera. Whoops. Whoops. A bucket diver. Oh, that's even better. Um, yeah, let's do bucket diver. What? Tight rope? All right. I don't know if tight rope... I'll leave it because it's kind of different, but would that be the same as acrobats? I don't know. Ventriloquist. Ventriloquists. I am going to say no to that one um, simply because I don't think it would work. Um... How would you make that art? Some people have fear of clowns. I have a profound distaste of ventriloquists. <laughs> uh, can we put monster trucks? Hmm. Alexandra, it looks like we've got into little professionals community. Yes, welcome in. Um, for, for those of you that do not know that may be coming in, my name is Sean Kozel. I do community challenges amongst other, a lot of other things. Today is a day that we are taking briefs and prompts for an upcomer, upcoming challenge. Uh, so welcome in, welcome to the community. And let's see here, I, I don't know. Oliver says, I mean, maybe it could be a fun twist shooting somebody out of a DS, a Canon DSL, DSLR camera. I saw SLR camera. That's... I kind of dig that one. I Okay. But I'm not going to steal that. I'm not putting it down as a brief because it's so specific. So if anybody else wants to make that, go for it. Um, I think those trucks are the ones that can perform stunts, a 400 millimeter lens. The monster trucks is more racing. So I'm going to hold off on that one. I, I, let me think about it. Is the challenge to make all these fit into one image? Oh my gosh, Franck, if I, you could probably do a composite and do it, um, it's possible. Fire Eaters. Who is that? Vikram. Okay. That's a keeper. <clears throat> Mimes. Mimes were going to fall underneath clowns. I'm going to put it that way. Flame Breather. Human Pyramids. Boneless Man. Contortionist. I have no idea how to spell contortionist. No, not a clue. Um, oh.
Okay. I'm again I'm missing chat again. Sorry everybody. Okay, getting back. <clears throat> Unicorns. That was that was actually how about the tent or what they're held in? Well, we've got the big top, but we can definitely go for tent. I like that, Bruce. Um, no, tightrope isn't a type of acrobats, though I think the circus one is probably named high wire because they do it way up between big top poles. Uh, we're going to leave it at tightrope. Tightrope right now. Um... <laughs> oh. Oh, good question, Sandrine. This is a great question. So Sandrine is asking Vikram about circuses in India. And this is what... Um, oh. <clears throat> this is kind of one of the reasons that I wanted to talk about this with you, with the community, is because um, I know, I, I don't want to assume that the circuses that I am uh, talking about, the more traditional circuses, are what they have every place. So, I, you know, I want to know what you have. Does dancing somehow work? Hypnosis. That's hypnosis. Oh, we can. Ooh. Oh, I, we can go with that more of a modern. So I think that would fall under there. Um, two headed uh, chickens. Let's go. Oddities. Oddities. The Siren Woman. Seal. Oh, seals. Bow and arrow thingy. David, hello. Welcome in. Good to see you. I'm, I am really, really behind on chat. Um, knife throwing. Do I have knife throwing? I thought I had knife throwing. That's... Maybe not. Knife throwing, and I saw... Sword Swallower. Um, and of course, all the circus merch. Uh, what we have at circuses in the UK con artists and police raids. Silk curtain dancer swing around. Um, and unravel. What are those called? I don't know what those are called. I mean, are they are they just acrobats? Do I have acrobats? I thought I did. Uh, big top three ring circus. Uh, trained dogs, clowns, magician, bearded woman, wolf boy, acrobats, trapeze artist, knife thrower. Oh. Okay, I've got knife thrower twice now. Um, I really don't have, wait. I thought acrobats was one of the first ones. Yep, I got it, okay. Uh, I'll be taking notes with a dictionary instead, Lydia says, yeah. Uh, freaks of nature, I think that falls under oddities. Let's go with that. 
Um, eat swords and blades. Yep. Second column. All right. Knife thrower at the top middle. Yeah, I see that now. Uh, I'm trying. Everyone's saying hi to David, which is great. Strong man. I've got strong man slash woman right there. Uh, bed of nails. How about stunt man woman? Okay. I like that. Adobe acrobats. Um, bed of nails. That's all I'm going to say. Doesn't matter who it is. Hi, Jack. Aerial dancers. Evie. I'm digging that. I am digging that. Um, that is cool. <clears throat> okay. I love it when somebody comes in and gives me a minute to catch up. Uh... Did you sense we were talking about donuts earlier? The sir, the wheel of death. The wheel of death I thought was the motorbike, Sandrine. I'm caught up with chat now. Um All right. Let me let me just do this so I know where we ended at because I know more things are going to come. So, we've got a bunch of new people that have been coming in. Um we've got a new community challenges Motorbikes is the wall of death. Fire dancers, Evie, I like it, I like it. <clears throat> All right, um, we are, or I am in the beginning of making assets and briefs for an upcoming community challenge. The challenge is going to be called Creative Circus. So I want to know, because we have people from all over the world, what you have, what you remember as a child, what you've seen, um, different different aspects of the circus that you like. Um, trapeze artist, let me see. Okay, unicycle. Oh, cap locks. Uh, oh, burlesque dancers. We're going old school now. Yeah, yeah. That was a huge part of the old, and I'm ch double checking how to spell this. Um, huge part of the old circuses. A wheel of death is the one where they spin a person around and chuck knives at them. Wait, no, 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 no. I thought the wheel of death was the metal ball and the motorbikes are like driving around in it. But you know what? The thing is, as long as we, oh, I don't know what candy floss is, Linda, but we need the cotton candy. Um, okay, stilts, I thought I got stilts, yeah, God, <clears throat> okay, um, so, uh, yeah, this is, this is probably what I want, probably sugar-free th these days, no, Linda, I, I almost guarantee you can't make it with with um without sugar i i don't think you can candy apples have you ever had a candy apple at the circus bruce i want to know all right whoa we got a lot we've got a lot hula hoops or to lisa i don't know what that is bicycle act juggling acrobats stilt walker and many oh all right that was not to me um Oh, that's what they've got. I don't know what Cordelisa is. Shoot the duck. Oh. Okay, okay, now now, now I've got a question for you. Uh, not sure how important it is, but we have strong man and burlesque. What? What did I miss?
This, okay, my spelling was... I did something with my spelling. I'm going fast. Um, sh- strong man, yeah. Should it be one word, David? I don't know. And then... What did I miss up? I know I'm spelling things wrong. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to go fast. All right. I'm missing an R. Oh, oh, I got gotcha. you. Jeez. Thank you. You, you cannot be vague. If I'm doing something wrong, please tell me, just, just tell me, Hey, you're doing this wrong. And burlesque A instead of S. Oh. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Um, Trapezist. I wouldn't try... Trapeze be the same. We have tightrope and high wire act. Um... All right, here's the question I have. This this is, wait, I thought I had stump man. Oh. I thought I had it. Okay, let me put stump man in or st- stunt person. Uh, yeah, it would be nice. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of things that I need help with and spelling is one of them, especially when I'm trying to go fast. Rearrange those words into a proper <laughs> sentence. Um, all right, here's a question for you. Uh, there's two different styles and I don't know if we want to get into it. You have a fair, which could be part of a circus. Like the circus could be part of a fair you know the circus is a show and at the fair you have um all the games alphabetical order now (laughs) uh you're asking a lot evie (laughs) okay so um in my mind I have gone to uh, circuses when I was little that would be held at an arena. So you go up to the arena, like sports arena, and um, you would have... um, People would be selling stuff outside, and and then you go inside, and you get your food, and you go in, you watch the circus, and you leave. Now, there's other things that I've seen, is you go in to a fair... And you've got all the games and all the stuff um, outside, like Shoot the Duck and all those other games, rigged games. And then you can go to the show. So I'm thinking I want to keep this separate just as the circus rather than having the fair and the circus. All right. Jack says, I went to a circus museum in Wisconsin when I was a kid and rode an elephant. I'd never done that. Do I have elephants? I better. Yeah. Okay. Um, That's my only circus story. Google Sheets or numbers. What do I mean by rigged? (laughs) Uh, General. Yeah, I got a bridge I can sell you. Uh, If this was in design, you could just copy the text and go... Thank you for not saying bridge. (laughs) I don't know InDesign. Uh, Puppet show, fire player. Uh, I've got fire dancers. The puppet show... Isn't it... Isn't, wouldn't a puppet show be too small for a circus? Punch and Judy called Nelly or Jumbo, the elephants. Okay. Um, 
Vikram says, Mush should have watched in Madagascar 3. It was full of circus. It is mainly to get ideas for this challenge, I guess. <laughs> Ooh, I do have Ringmaster right there. And one of the things that I am working on, let me go ahead and zoom out, um, is trying to create a, a kind of logo for this. I've got a couple ideas. This is what I was working on yesterday, having the top hat um, coming up with a playing card and have it say KC. Now I'm realizing this is really hard to read the KC, but maybe, maybe I'll mess around with that but i've got the top hats um and using the recolor i was able to get this around a little bit the large puppet costumes um mascot the greatest showman and the greatest showman is a great homework film <clears throat> okay let me think here what do we got um there, we're, we're missing something here, and I don't know what it is. The stands where people sit. That's... What is that called? It's not the stands. We'll call it the stands. Uh, now we're getting, we're getting it. Okay. Bleachers, bleachers, bleachers. There we go. Thank you. I was. <clears throat> Ooh. Okay. Now we're talking. Now we're getting into another. Do we want to do that? Do we want to break this into elements? Um, all right, hold on. I've got a couple more to add here because I'm almost thinking we may need to do this a little bit different. Uh, we've got the tattoo person. Uh, ticket stubs. <clears throat> I do want to make a ticket. I don't know if I want the audience. I don't, I don't know. Uh, David, this bleachers is not related to getting rid of COVID. Okay. Um, where was this? Here we go. Like, if we come through here, we got the three ring, ring circus and then taking it into another area. Like, do we want to do this where you've got the spotlight, which I think is great. Um, We had uh, sand, sawdust, I think sawdust floor. Like, I don't know if we want to get into the specifics there. What is a bleacher? Bleacher is the seating, the, the uh, seating where the audience sits. A bull rider toy. No, Angus, hello. Okay, we're getting rid of the people. Uh, an evil boss in circus. That's my job, L Lydia. <laughs> Angus, I hope I said hello to you. I'm sorry if I didn't. Very American high school film knowledge. Okay. A stand where you don't stand. The net. Okay, we could put the net here. Like, there's so much stuff. Is this the right room for Kozel's creative crazy circus merch? Balloons. Balloons.
Angus says, Angus says, uh, Coles will merch and Sandrine yells, Balloons! Okay, now we're getting too, we're getting really specific here. Going into the whip, that's going to be more of your lion, tra lion trainer. Did I not have lion trainer? I don't think I have a lion trainer. I'm just going to say trainer because I think they do multiple things. <clears throat> okay. Oh, Angus. Bobbles. Scattily clad woman with feathers on their back. We've got it right there, Sandrine, for the last dancers. Oh, Moulin Rouge. Uh, we have Lion Tamer. Do we? Okay. All right. <clears throat> wow. Wow. This, this, a lot more than what I was expecting. But let's jump into here. Uh, we had Whip. I'm going to put these as a subcategory. Um, which I think is good, which is fine. <clears throat> Angus, we've got, uh, I gotta find it. Um, cannon, cannon, shot out of a cannon. Right there. Oh, you know what we're missing? We are missing something very important here. Very important. And it's the poo sweepers. You have to have them. They have to come through. <clears throat> okay. Ice skaters. The wagons. I don't remember there being wagons. There's always random animals. Yes. A stork train, my stork train. <laughs> oh, oh, the old flea circus, flea circus, giraffes. I see, I see, I see some good ones. Now you're getting specific, Evie. B baby elephants with big ears. That's called um, Dumbo. Okay, where did I miss that? Where did I miss that? There it is. Okay. The cleaning crew. <laughs> what about the stalls like eatery playing fun games? Vikram, I just talked about that. <clears throat> A film, okay. Lying baby elephant. Katarina, hello. Drunk baby elephants with big ears, all the colors. You can, you, hey, you can do it. You can do it. <clears throat> All right, so, wow. We are gonna continue on with this. So we've got a ton of people here, which is on, awesome. Um, a carnival, a fun fair, circuses are usually accompanied by one of them. Pink elephants. Oliver, accompanied by them. So they are not part of the show. It, I am thinking for this challenge, and again, if you want to take this in a direction that is more affairs, you go right ahead. Um, there's just, you know, I want it to be, you can make anything using anything, penguins. I'm going to go with zebras. No, they do have camels. Dang it, Vikram. Um,
a ton of sawdust. We've got that right here, sawdust floor. Mafu, are you leaving? Take care. Okay. What do we have? Zebras. I keep forgetting. <clears throat> All right. Penguins? Now we're going more zoo-like. Um, well, yes and no. They're not part of the circus show, but they are part of the traveling circus. Monkeys. We can go monkeys. You're saying rainbow elephant? I don't think you're okay. <laughs> Emus? Nah. Yes, Dumbo was. A rhino? No, you're not going to have a rhino in a circus. Now you're just talking zoo-like. Um, okay, is Angus has a question. Dragons. <laughs> uh, I do like mermaid. I do. I, I'm going to go with mermaid. We're going to add this one in and then we will uh, do another explanation of what's going on here for people that showed up. Oh, the unicorn, unicorn, unicorn. Yep. Yep. Um, because I have a story about that. <clears throat> story time, story time. Okay, uh, there was a, it, one of the Ringling Brothers circuses actually took a, a pony or a horse, something like that, and they installed a unicorn, um, they installed a, a horn to make this horse look like a unicorn. And they had it, they cut it open. They had it like implanted, stapled onto like the skull. And they trekked, they, they went around the country saying, hey, come check out the unicorn. I actually remember that as a kid. <clears throat> Trampoline. Yes, it was horrible, Sandrine. Uh, we've got net. I'm not going to go with trampoline. We've got net. I'm not going to go with donkeys because we've got horses right here. Um, pistol shooters. <sighs> yeah, actually sharpshooters. That was that. Yeah, yeah. Sharpshooters. I got I have to agree with that. That's old school. But yeah, we got to go with sharpshooters. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna take a break real quick. Marcia, good morning. Hello. Um, Angus came in, had a question, and so <clears throat> posters. Yep. Okay. Uh, this is going to be an upcoming community challenge for all of us, and what we've got going here is this is going to be the no, not sharpshooters. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Let me. There we go. We have the upcoming challenge is going to be called the Creative Circus. Um, the correct spelling of Creative Circus has a has been used way a lot, a ton. So I changed it up a little bit. That way we can have our own hashtag when we are putting this on our Instagrams, our socials. Um, also, if you jump into the Discord, jumping into the Discord, trying to jump into the Discord, why are you not? There we go. I have added a new, up above my head, Creative Circus Challenge. Um, today is not the, um, the announcement. Today is not really going... You know, I'm not, I'm not saying everybody get to work. Um, oh, I'll be right back.
Okay. <clears throat> um, I'm not saying get to work right now because I don't want to create a deadline. I don't want to do anything. Today is just a chance to... Um, oh, you gave me a great idea, Sandrine. Today is a chance just to make assets, talk about it, get some briefs, and um, going from there. Uh, one of the prizes or one of the giveaways that I have as of right now is a Bluetooth speaker, waterproof blue Bluetooth speaker. Um, and I cannot remember the artist's name that did the artwork, but um, this is one of the giveaways that will be given away. I'm gonna be asking others if they would like to give anything away um, if they would like to partake but that as of right now that's the first thing um, it is a aqua thump that's keying out that's pretty cool it's an aqua thump speaker waterproof speaker so as of now that's the first thing um Penny says brainstorm hello. I don't know if I or I don't know if I said hello to you, Penny. Hello. Uh I think, alright. Something off topic, but I just found out there's a circus in Hong Kong too, established a few years ago. Alright. I'm I'm catching up. Who <laughs> said, Penny, wait, what are we saying? Unicorns aren't real? That's funny. Um, uh, this stream brought to you by Kozel Bros. That's funny. That's funny. All right. Um, okay, we will, let's, let's take a look at this brief again really quick. And Sandrine had, oh, what was it called? That we could do giveaway. Um, I thought we had escape artists. I, I I don't know if we do or not, but let's let's add escape artists just to make sure. Because I can you know change this anytime. Or. It's easier for me to delete one than try to remember and say, oh, what was that? Even though chat stays up now. Um, the plate juggler. Plate. Plate spinning. That's what it is. Plate. Whoa, what did I just do? Okay. <clears throat> um, Sandrine had something about the poles with the acrobats. Chinese poles. I know what you're talking about. I don't know what it's called though. But yeah, that, that's really cool. Um, the expression leaving to join a, the circus. Oh, that's a keeper. That is a keeper. Running away to join the circus. That, that is a prompt right there. That's, that's a keeper. And actually put in a way <clears throat> that's a keeper right there Jeff hello welcome in and Sean is the e evil boss yep get to work Lydia um choo -choo. okay I'm in for the fat lady I don't think I have that I don't have the fat per well I've got the bearded woman. I mean, wait, 
can we really can, can can we really say the fat lady anymore? Really? I'm going to I'm going to say no. Um sword fighting, no. Uh someone say greetings to Granny Anna. Hello Granny Anna. Hopefully you are enjoying the show. And Granny Anna, thank you for being here. We do have double escape artists. Okay. Oh, dwarves. Um We're going to try to be we're going to try to be more political correct than the old days. Uh Cotton candy machine, we have cotton candy. We have knife throwers. We have knife jugglers and we may have throwers also. Uh, I mean, if we're making it politically correct circus, you're going to need to remove all the animals and include, and <laughs> include bearded men. Uh, actually, no, yes, you're absolutely right, Oliver. You, you're so right. Um, <sighs> we're going to go with it. This is... We're, we're, we're going art here. We're going art. So. <clears throat> you type two escaped artists. Where's the other one? Um, once I get this much written down, it's really hard for me to see the words. Pat Bobble. Bobble Brothers Circus. Oh, that's funny. Penny. Um, it's hard to see the words past second row 13 down. Oh, there it is. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Jeff, hello. Uh, I think we can do away with bearded woman. I don't think they're, I don't think they're in them anymore. Granted, <laughs> they, they were also fake ones at the time. Now, this is this is the question and this is up to you as the artist what direction do you want to go um because if if we go retro having the old style circuses are we brainstorming the new circus name now lit no <laughs> no the name is creative circus Absolutely not. Ow. This is in stone. It's it's my challenge. <laughs> um All right. God shaved the queen frog. Uh Yeah, Oliver, that's why I spelled circus with a c. I didn't want anybody to do that. I did not want that to happen. <sighs> All right. So what we're doing today is we are brainstorming, putting together, putting together um, briefs for the upcoming challenge. <clears throat> the challenge is Creative Circus. That's the name, Lydia. That's the name. <laughs> Oh, chat is doing what we do best being goofy. Yeah, you guys are. But I tell you what, this has been awesome. So let's kind of go through these a little bit right now. And um, we are coming up with the briefs. So just talking about what we remember or what we think of when it comes to circuses, either when we were kids, today, what we've read about, anything like that. <clears throat> Angus. <laughs> I'm going to send you over to Twitch, Angus. Oh. Okay. Will there be a written brief for this circus for reference? Absolutely. Marsha, um, that is a wonderful question. <sighs> Let me pull it together here. On my Discord and... 
No, no, let's just leave it on my Discord. Um, I have a, a group called Challenges, and it will be under the creative circus up above my head. This is going to be the same type of thing if... Uh, in our art and space... Art and space... All the way at the top. Come on, Sean. Art and space. We had a brief. Um, I'm not in the Discord. Oh, well. Okay, hold on. Marsha. Take a screenshot. I, I will wait. Anybody who's not on my Discord that wants these briefs, take a screenshot right now. We're going to pause. Angus, I know that. <laughs> Why do you think I said be right back when I went to uh, go behind my green screen? Okay, Marcia says done. All right. Um, making sure everybody has the references. That the briefs... Okay, I'm just seeing what I missed in chat. All right. Um, so, this is what we've got going on. The once I make... The, um, <laughs> Evie, I am reading all yours. Flying monkeys, lions and tigers and bears, oh mine, that was Caroline, that's a good one. Wizards, witches, warlocks. <laughs> words, I just put words. Oh my gosh, okay. <clears throat> so, you can make anything that you want. This can be traditional, this can be absolutely anything so this is free reign i would like for you to make something that is somehow related to a circus so be creative make anything you want so this is our homework no jeff this is just a regular community challenge like i've done in the past and as of right now I'm giving away an Aqua Thump Bluetooth speaker. Um, so if you want to participate, you can. That's the point of being a community challenge. Okay, so let's go through our brief. And in case anybody comes up with any other ideas that are not Lord of the Ring. Is it for Lord of the Rings? The, the, the ring thing with Frodo and them. If it's not related to that, I'll read it. Frank, I have, this is not a start date, so there's no deadline yet. Um, the, the, depending upon what I get, if, if, if anybody wants to donate, you know, I'm going to check some people out. Jane, hello. I'm going to ask some people if they want to donate anything. But as of right now, there's no deadline because it's not starting yet. Um, Jane, uh, today, quick, very quickly, we're doing a brainstorming to an upcoming challenge. Uh, do you have walking on wire? We do. Michelle, hello. A up duck. Okay, so we have the multiple posts allowed. Of course, Frank. Of course. That's, there's, there's never been a limit. I'll put it that way. Uh, we have Big Top, Three Ring Circus, Lions, Bears, A Ringmaster, Trained Dogs, Clowns, Magician, Bearded Woman, Old School, Wolf Boy, Acrobats, tra Trapeze Artists, Horses, Apes, Little Sean, Mafu's gone now. I should take that away. We've got a popcorn stand, bleachers, a tattoo person, tickets, unicorn, knife thrower, tigers, lion tamer, elephants, snake charmer, daredevil, fortune teller, a strong man slash woman, stilts, jugglers, Motor bike stunts, shot out of a cannon, escape artist, the bucket divers, clown car, t 
tightrope, high wire act, balloons. You know what? We should be more specific. Animal trainer. We've got the sh Um Oh no. Oh Jane, I am so sorry. Jane says spare a thought for us. We have no heating or hot water and it snowed last night. Oh. Oh. Vikram, monkeys right there. Calm down. Uh, Jane, I hope you stay warm. Ah, uh, get those blankets. Ah, I wish I was closer to you. I'd come over and get you. Bring you here. Have to jump out for an hour or so. Bye. See you, Frank. We have fire eaters, contortionists, tent, uh, hypno hypnotist, hyp hypnosis, oddities, seals, bow and arrow, bed of nails, sword swallower, aerial dancers, unicycle burlesque dancers, cotton candy, music, the poo sweepers, that sounds like the foo fighters, the poo sweepers, a flea circus, zebras, camels, monkeys, and plate spinning. Um... I just thought of one. Go ahead, bring that down. Actually, that is not where it would go. Let me zoom out. Jane, I really hope you've got somebody coming over to take care of that. <coughs> Poo Sweepers, Foo Fighter, Tribute Band, they're not very good. <laughs> Mr. Jane had to stay home today as I can't function in the cold. No engineer until tomorrow sometime before one. Oh, Jane. I am sorry to hear that. <clears throat> so sorry. Okay. <laughs> Caroline says I definitely wouldn't go see them. All right. Now, today, if you've got any any other suggestions that come up, um, please put it in chat. Uh, and let's go ahead and start. So this, as you can see, we've got our title. And what I'm going to do is probably make a poster at some point um describing the challenge or just talking about the challenge and i don't want to do that just yet so that will not be now i was working on the top hat i want to make a type of logo so what i've got going here um this here this is a flat top hat and surprisingly i'm happy with it I am not an illustrator. I am not. I am not good at this stuff. <laughs> but with a lot of work, I actually got this to where I like it. Um, I added a uh, gradient onto this one, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna go, want to go with the flat black or if I want to go with the gradient. Thank you, Oliver, Caroline. They say they look good. Katarina, thank you. Um, you know, due to the fact it's, it's kind of going to be a logo, I'm going to want to use it on probably everything. Um, I don't know if I'm going to want to go with the black or the gradient, you know, and this is surprising to me because this is quite, there's a lot of banding. I don't know if you can see this on the stream. Um, just having that subtle gradient a lot of banding, a lot of banding, and I don't know how that would look. Jane says with the gradient. I like the gradient. Um, if only we knew of a way to communicate with people around the world who knew how to use Adobe Illustrator. Yeah, that's true. Michelle says I would wear this hat. <clears throat> Next off, I 
and let's go through this because this is interesting. Um, I was not sure how this was going to work. I've had problems in the past with Illustrator when I'm using recolor artwork when all, all I have are grays. So uh, different shades of grays. I've got this one grouped. We're going to go ahead and bring this one down. It does feel velvety. Umicorn, Umicorn says back on my PC. Hi, Umicorn. Thank you, Umicorn. Uh, it's true, I struggle with gradient banding. Yeah, now, if you get any banding, like, I know how to fix it in Photoshop. You can add grain, you can, you can take your gradient, and you can actually blur it a little bit, and it'll take care of the banding. In Illustrator, I don't know. I don't know. So I don't know how this is going to, to work. Jane says, add more color stops. Okay, let's dive into this, because I want to show you what I did. Um, this is a group, so I'm going to double click and keep double clicking until I get to my front shape. Um, I like the purple hat too, Oliver. Let's go into our gradient panel and come on now. This getting back into the gradients, this drives me crazy. Okay, I'm on the path. All right, come on now. Give me the gradient. Where are you? Uh. There we go. I had to get it from the appearance panel. Uh. All right. So I've done this in a couple different ways. Knowing I wanted to use a free form gradient for the darker colors. Would the gradient mesh work with banding? I don't know. I don't know. Lydia is going in lurk mode. Um, so I use the free form gradient and I put the stops and all six of these here. Let me zoom in a little bit better for you. Um, so we've got the freeform gradient going on, and then I added a linear actual line gradient uh, and went with the lighter color because I wanted to get kind of this arch. Stuart says, hi everyone, use some grain on the gradient or use freeform gradient. I am using freeform gradient, um, but now you just gave me an idea. If can we go in? Stuart, hello, by the way. I'm sorry, I don't know if I said hello. Um, is there a grain? Like add grain. A film grain. Ooh, ooh. Okay, I cannot see chat right now. Stuart says I'm working and lurking. I did not think of using the Photoshop effects um, here. Let's go ahead. And okay, so if I go to zero, this is interesting. All right. Um, you can see the you can see the banding pretty good. Now going in and adding grain is taking that away. Let's see if we turn down the intensity. Shouldn't the light be vertical? Um, no, Evie, because the hat, it's wider at the top than it is in the middle, and then it, it goes wide, narrow, and then wide again. So it's an artistic idea that I had. I don't know how well it's gonna work. <laughs> I'm just trying, I'm just trying. Okay, we've got our film, our film grade, film grain. <clears throat> Okay. I 
That's a good question, Jeff. Jeff is asking, will the filters rasterize it? Probably. Um, I'm not liking it. I want to be... Okay, wait. Film grain, let's see. Thinking this... I'm trying to think this through. Um... Ooh, 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 okay. Taking the opacity down, going to overlay. Let's go ahead, hit escape. Hit escape, getting out of that. Oh, 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 you know, I'm, okay. <laughs> You would duplicate the shape and overlay the grain on the shape and tweak. Um, I, you know, I am digging that. I am actually really digging that flat, even without the gradient. Um, I see what you're saying. Let me, let me go ahead. We're going to go command Z, command Z. Got to keep going back. Okay. <clears throat> Photoshop filter are all getting rasterized, David says. Um, Angus, have a great day. Take care. All right. Now this is... <sighs> No, unless you expand them as an appearance, it will just keep as an as an effect. Okay. I'm thinking this through because I really like what we have going there. Um, let's take the whole thing. Let's go. Let's let's try something. We're gonna go Command C, Command. Command Shift V, we're gonna paste it in place, and we're gonna add an effect to the whole thing. And let's see what we can get. So, <clears throat> I like what we've got going. Let's go into our effect gallery. Wait, where did we go? Um, now I'm trying to remember where it was. Film grain. Going into the film grain. I am really digging this <laughs> I am oh I am digging this I I really like the way that looks um now let's go into our opacity let's take this down to soft light oh oh my goodness oh I absolutely love this. Holy cow. Let me grab both these hats, making sure to group them. I, I, why am I getting this white? Nah, okay, I'm okay with it. I'm okay. <clears throat> oh, Stuart. Thank you so much. Let's group that. And oh, let me put this one next to this one. These are the exact same. Um, one has the film grain. Let me close this down. Oh, that, that looks like felt. Oh, I did not even think of that. It got rid of the banding. It added a whole nother texture, a whole nother feel to it. Um, loving it, loving it. I did not think of that at all. Oh, that is beautiful. Okay, <clears throat> I'm happy. I am happy now. Now let's talk about recolor artwork. Um, Caroline, see you in a bit. Okay, so we're going to jump in and do some recolor artwork here. 
And what we can do, let me jump into my properties. Um, and we've got over here, recolor artwork. So first off, I was having issues dealing with blacks and grays before in the past. So I really were never sure what's going to happen. But first thing I want to do is jump up into our color library, going to our color group, which is this, the wandering dreamers is the color palette that I've added to my swatches. So we're going to use that right there and automatically, bam, you get this. Um, loving where this is going. Uh, Marcia says, I'm in Discord dragging my feet into 2023. Kicking and screaming. So we can go through, and this is really weird. I do not, and I have gone through and uh, tried to figure out what I've got going up here. Not a clue. I went through the gradients. I redid the gradients, um, trying to figure out couldn't figure it out. So I've got a darker spot, which like this, I don't mind at all, at all. Um, we can take this down and go with a darker shade. And you can see that's kind of what I did over here. Um, ooh, that's not bad you can uh, let's get away from I'm not getting anything that I really like ooh we can Why? Where is that? That's going to be here. Go ahead. Unlock. David says, Sean, that's because you're converting three or four base colors into five so it just happens to replace one color by the fifth one. Oh, okay. So we could come up here and switch this to four and then we get it. I get you. Um, interesting. Let's zoom in. really like the black now all right I missed a ton of chat okay Katarina says to David that is why it says raster effects I guess if you keep the effect in vector form which makes them not flat raster David says exactly but if you're if using one should keep in mind that these those effects can't be scaled in the same way Ooh, David bringing the knowledge. Uh, Michelle says, question, I don't know much about Illustrator, but if you don't want to add grain, can you work in 16-bit color instead of eight to avoid banding? I would guess yes, but that's funny because like, I don't know what if we go in, let's go to the home page. <clears throat> we go new file. And 1920 by 1080. This is wow, this is huge. Sorry. Give me a second here. Make it so it's visible. Ah, uh, this is what is strange to me because it's not giving you, it's, it doesn't give you the 8-bit, 16-bit like you would in Photoshop. Um, 
or make a copy, use surface blur and adjust the threshold and radius. Ooh, that's a good idea. Okay. You can't switch to 16 or 32. To a certain extent, higher bit depths fix the problem, but if your base color and the gradient are too close together, which they are, you will still encounter banding. Well, <clears throat> I am, I'm ecstatic with where we are. I don't like this brown one we just did. Um, I like the maroon one. I like the green one. I like both of those. Um, I love the one with the grain. So I actually think, I think I'm done. I'm done with the hats, but let's go ahead. Let's do this. I'm gonna grab that one because you're no longer my favorite. Oh, yeah. We can just delete that one. We don't need it. I'm gonna grab that one. Let's make a copy. Let's bring this one over. Now, as you can see, what I ended up doing is I just copied the band and put it back. Um, I don't mind the band being flat like that. I don't mind that. I am having problems with the uh, with the card. I don't. What do you What do you think in chat? <clears throat> uh, all right, uh, Devlin. Hello. Hi everyone, I missed the very start and a chance to screen grab the list. I hope it's included. Slideshows, curiosities, sideshows, curiosities, and wonders. Oh, Devlin, go for it. Screenshot. Um, I've got oddities. We don't have sideshows. First oddities, fakes, and nature's nature's mistakes. I've got mermaid, the two-headed calf. Yeah, we're not going that way. <clears throat> Does the color bit depth eight versus sixteen versus twenty-two actually apply to vector graphics? Isn't that just raster, Oliver? That's what I thought. That's that's what I thought. Um, and I I don't want to say yes or no because I don't know for sure. Should keep a copy to show process, maybe. I've it's the same hat as this one right here. Is what I was using that one for, Bruce. So I've got I've got the process of all the hats. From the flat half gradient now with the grain and colored. <clears throat> okay. Wow, we've got ooh. They, oh, wow. David says, for example, between white, F, 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 and almost white, F, E, F, E, F, E, you have only 10 color steps, RGB codes, so you will see 10 blocks of color no matter what. Okay. Merman. Merman. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, duo, hello. Um, I don't think anybody asked for that, so we're going to delete that. But welcome in. Good to see you. Um, if people want it, they will find you. I'm sure it's just raster because it determines how many bits are used per pixel to store the color info, which isn't appli applicable to vector graphics where there's no pixel data. Warp the card a little and add a slight gradient shadow to the corner somewhere as it's tucked in the banding. 
have a very slight gradient shading. Mirror friend. <clears throat> I like that. I like that, Penny. Mirror friend. Uh, Oliver, I'm with you. Okay. Dang it. Come on. I keep zooming in on the wrong stuff. Uh, all right. Um, let me think here. What do you think? Let's, let's check this out. Let's start here. Let's go ahead. We're going to make a copy. Um, this card was just something I was thinking about at the last minute. Let's go ahead, ungroup. <clears throat> Do you think the font is too hard to read? Um, like, does it come across as KC? This is difficult for me because I'm the one that did it. <laughs> so, um, I don't know. Also, let me think. Um, General says it's a bit hard. I did do some inflating. I did some 3D effects. Um, I didn't like it. I didn't. I mean, it's cool. I didn't like where it was going. Um, <laughs> but I may be tripping. Okay, hold on. I'll be right back. I need to go get a playing card, and I realize I don't have one here. Bye, Marsha. Have a great day. Uh, it needs, what do we, needs value contrast. Okay. Now this is smooth. I am smooth. I went in, I just grabbed some uh, one card. And of course, it's the king of hearts. What can I say? <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Let's see here. So what I am thinking first off, yeah, I did use materials for on the 3D effect. Yep, turned out okay. Um, the the issue that I have with using the 3D is the fact that I'm trying to make this as a logo. So I don't think it's going to be, um, I don't think it's going to be, I don't think 3D would fit for this. Now I need to get a hat. God, hold on. I tell you, I keep freaking tripping over my green screen. Oh, all right. Michelle, take care. Um, all right, so got a hat. Let's go big screen here. Um, 3D logos should just be an extra option, not the main idea. David, that's what I was thinking. Um, <laughs> Dev, Devlin's singing. Uh, I do not have a top hat. I used to. Um, 
Okay, <clears throat> so here's the idea. Got the hat, the band, and so what I'm thinking, the size. <clears throat> now, Sandrine, welcome back. Okay, so <clears throat> actually the size that I've got for the hat right now, because let's, let's assume a top hat is taller than this. Um, Lee, hello. So having the card, you can see kind of where it falls. So the card could be a little bigger. Simran, hello. Um, RSS Design, hello, welcome in. <clears throat> we, all right, Simran. Here in the community, just so you know, um, we support each other in ways that we do not ask for support. The way it works here is you check out other people's work, you follow other people, and in turn, they will follow you. Um, don't come into a stream and not say hello to people and just say, support me. Um, that's not how it is. You want to come into a community and be nice. Say hello. Look at people's work. Hey, Bruce, you got nice work. Um, stuff like that. So please don't do that. It's just not nice. Not nice. <clears throat> Great scene, the hat, card, scale, real life example. Yeah, so I think what we've got going is technically this card, because also doing this, like looking looking at the shape, the card itself is almost as big. So technically, and I should have done this when I was first making it, Technically, the card would be probably about that, that big. Um, thinking about the shape of the head, going around, I'm checking the screen out. <laughs> card, yeah. I've got a camera right there. Okay. I can see the card in the, in the camera. <laughs> Etiquette. Etiquette. That's that's a little big, but I like it. <laughs> Penny, is this your card? Is this your card? Is this your card? Um I feel it's too big. Even though I think Technically, it's about the right size. It feels big. Um, oh my gosh, it's been so long since I've done that. Holy shnikes. Sorry, everybody. It has been... I, I was looking at my card. I can see the big head glaring. I'm a professional. Uh, okay, that feels like a better size to me. I'm happy with that. Um, now that we changed it, let's get rid of this card here. Let's delete that. Let's grab this one. Bring that one over. All right, we've got our size. Um, we're going to ungroup this and 
First off, let's deal with the card itself. So we want to add a gradient. Um, I, why? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. Does the ratio matter? If it's too small, it'll be hard to read the letter on the card. Wait for it. Um, I don't think so, Lydia, because this is going to be... This is not a... This isn't going to be a word logo. Um, it's just going to be a logo uh, uh, for, I mean, I could technically, I could say forget forget the card altogether and I could just use the hat as the logo right there. Um, the idea of having a KC on it someplace, I think would be really cool. Now, normally a top hat, when they're made, how they're made, there's no way that you would put like a KC on it. Um, but, so I was thinking different ways on how to do it. Uh, okay. I'm just catching up on chat. Black on white would be much nicer with perhaps a colored drop shadow. We can... Yeah. Let's go ahead. <clears throat> let's try that. Let's, let's play with that. Um, We're gonna go into our fill, go into the gradient tool, and give me a gradient. Give me a gradient. Gotta click on the gradient. Um, due to what we have here, we want to go ahead. Go there, bring Oh, I don't think I want to do a free form. Oh, these gradients are so freaking hard to deal with. Um, okay. We're going to add. Okay, looking at the angle of the card, I was thinking a golden yellow eclipse between the yellow, between the letters and the teal for contrast. A go, a, a, a lips, eclipse, a lips. Well, I like the idea of this. Um, Now we've got this exact same freaking problem with this gradient. So <clears throat> we're going to grab that. We're going to go command C, command shift V. Um, no, command Z. Let's go ahead and let's grab that. Shift, grab this, grab this. Holding shift. Oh, come on now, baby. We're going to move this over like so. We're going to grab our gradient. Now we're going to go Command C, Command Shift V. We're going to put that in front. We're going to open up our appearance panels. We're going to go in and we're going to go ahead and give this a film grain. Bring the grain. Oh, that looks cool. <clears throat> I'm clocking off. Why am I clocking off?
<clears throat> oh, Evie's clocking off. Okay, bye Evie. Thank you for being here. Okay, so we've got that done. We've got our fill. Let's go into our opacity. And I liked, now it's white. So let's see what we can get here. Um, wow, we are not getting anything. Um, you know what, let's do this. Let's go ahead, I'm gonna right click. We're going to go to arrange, and I know you can't see this. We're gonna send backwards. Send keeps, come on now. There we go. We're gonna take that next off. Let's select that one. Going into our opacity, switch that to multiply. All right, let's grab that one there. Take our opacity down. Okay. Grab this. Holding shift, let's bring this back over. Arrow keys. I'm kind of digging it. I'm kind of digging it. We're going to go command G. We're going to group that together. We are going to hold down the option key. Let's go ahead gonna bring that up oh the opacity check that out boy was that a mistake <clears throat> whoops it looks great there not there Sandrine see you later Okay. Let me think what we've got. Makes it look like a floating logo. It does. <clears throat> and I want to fix that. Do not want that. Put a white rectangle behind it. Well, it's got one, and I think you're, I think you're right. Uh, let me do this. Let me grab. Okay, that's got the film grain on it. That's not the one I want. That's the one I want. Set to multiply. So let's go ahead and we're gonna go uh, Command C, Command Shift V. That's putting it up there. Let's select that one. We're gonna bring it back all the way to the bottom. Um, we need to switch from multiply to normal there we go <clears throat> yeah Bruce I am thinking about using this um, as a logo um, Okay. I just wanted to make something actually fun for this. Um, was my plan. Ooh, I'm... Oh, that's so close. So close. 
Okay. That's okay. I'm digging that. I'm digging that. Wouldn't the text be better in black and the shadow in dark red? Well, <sighs> it's not really okay. So here is our text. Let's go ahead. Oh, come on. Come on now. Select both of those. Holding down the option key, we're going to bring that over. And going into our properties, you can see these are actual text. It is the Luke Thick 100. So once <clears throat> I grab this text, let's go ahead and so yeah, yeah, hold on. I'm seeing what you said. Um, text be dark red. Okay, so command shift O, or you can come up here to text and we want to come down to create outlines. So we go command shift O, we're gonna create outlines. And then we are gonna grab our paint bucket tool, our live paint bucket tool. Let's go ahead, jump into our not our gradients, our swatches. We're gonna grab the red and we're gonna go ahead. Oh, I need to do the, sorry. <clears throat> Pathfinder first, shape builder. Ugh. It helps if you select it. Now going into the paint, selecting our red and we can go boom. Boom, boom. And any of these closed shapes, we can do that. Hitting V, we're gonna come back, hit the C. Getting back into the paint bucket tool, making sure that our red is selected. Doing the same thing here. Oh, I don't like that one. Nope. not let me do that are you come on now really I got to command Z it all right there we go <clears throat> okay let's go ahead Grab both of those. Uh, I don't know. Tell me I made a copy of our card and I didn't. And I didn't. Come on, Sean. I got all this on different layers. I does. I do. <clears throat> all right. Uh, 
Um, Jeff says, have to step away. I thought I saw... Okay. <clears throat> thought I saw something. I guess I didn't. So for right now, I'm just trying to get a feel for which one I like better. Oh, it's not black. It's not black. Oh, come on. Oh, okay. It's supposed to be the blue. It's supposed to be the blue. On that note, this is what kills me. But even if I go select same color, from the drop down menu What? What if? Okay. What is this? Select menu. Yeah, it's not selecting it. Oh well. <clears throat> I think I'm good with that. Uh, let's see here. want to do I want to and I don't know if this is going to work but let's go ahead ooh 
This is not going to like this. I can tell right now. I've got so much stuff going on here. Um, make a copy before I destroy everything. Let's go file or actually object. Let's go expand. Woo, that's not what I wanted. Bang. I wanted to get in and do a little bit of tweaking on the cards and I've got so much stuff going on on them right now that it's like impossible to get these cards there I've got like three levels of cards here um, okay I've got this all right, this is a group. Actually, let's play, let's try something. Um, where is... Ooh, there we go. That's what I want. Okay, Command Z. Let's go ahead. That's what I want. Okay. We got to really increase this quite a bit. Let's go to 300. 300 hit okay let's zoom out whoa that's not what I wanted to have happen <laughs> okay this is crazy this is not working and so at that point i think we're good to go we are good to go <clears throat> wow katarina says ungroup everything on the copy of the card then group enter the group and sample one black. Now when you select, okay, all the same blacks. I'm actually, I, I dig the red. I like the red. Um, I'm okay with it. I'm okay. The red and blue, I'm good with that. Um, I love the fact of adding the grain, what we got going with, with the film grain on it. I am so happy with that. All right. So that is the start. And I think I am like done for the day. <clears throat> We're at two, what are we at? Two and a half hours? Yeah. Um, I was trying to do that Katarina and I just, it was a brain fart that I didn't turn it blue to begin with. <laughs> Whoops. <clears throat> so anybody new jumping in I am going to redo this and put it onto my discord um, jumping into my discord you can see here oh okay I I, I apologize everybody 
but all this stuff is going to be taken away. Um, yeah. I, I have to be the first one to post onto my Discord. Oh, Michelle. Okay. As you can see here, I've got the Creative Circus feed. Um, I will be posting the brief on it once I get done redoing it, making it look a little bit better. Um, but these are this is the beginning of the briefs for the Creative Circus. I do not have a start date yet, so I do not have a deadline yet. But I just wanted to do a brainstorm, brainstorming stream with all of you, the community, for this community project or the community challenge. And ugh, I will be giving away a Bluetooth Aqua Thump, a waterproof Bluetooth speaker to a random artist. So you can make anything you would like using any app you want or even traditional art. Make sure that when you post it to your socials, you use Creative Circus, one, <laughs> one word, not with the space, but that will all be in the, um, in the prompt, and post to my Discord. So this is just like the art in space. Aqua Thump Speaker Sound Serious. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. I don't know who the artist is. I could probably tell you really quick. Um, Megan, hello. Let me think here. Let me to give a shout out. I want to make sure. One moment, everybody. The artist, and I could have this out. <clears throat> the artist is Floor Colorum that did the artwork on the front of the speaker. So. Okay. Devlin says this sounds fun. I hope it is. I hope this is a fun challenge. Um, you know, there are some social um, issues with circuses, but we're not going to get into that. But I am aware, and it's, you know, hard not to be aware. Okay, Thursday, uh, Thursday stream, uh, yeah, did some express swag, yep. Um, on Thursday stream, I think we'll be doing some more photo editing of your photos. That was a lot of fun. I've got a bunch of new photos sent to me, so I'm looking forward to that. Also, I have absolutely no other announcements. Um... Okay, thank you, Oliver, for that. Uh, all right. Cool. I think we're set. Uh, thank you for today. You guys were amazing. I do not, I did not expect, let me switch back. I absolutely did not expect this many uh, briefs, this, this much from you guys. Um, so I want to thank you for that. Thank you for being active and excited. Um, I think this is going to be a lot of fun. And um, yeah, if you come up with anything, if you come up with anything, hold on to it and then we can post it into the Discord uh, if you have any, any other ideas that you would like to add. Now, because you may have come up with something that did not make this list, like Emu, does not mean you can't use an emu. 
okay? You can take it in any direction you want. I would like it just to be somehow circus oriented. That's all I'm looking for. That's it. But again, there's no pressure because today is not the start day. Today is not, um, today is not the start day. I'll put it that way. Emu. Okay. I appreciate y'all being here, spending your time with me. Um, I wouldn't do this otherwise. So thank you all for being here. And I would hope to see you in chat. I think I'm going to be able to make the Photoshop daily creative challenge. I don't know what is going on with the UK. I, 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 I was going to stream at two o'clock today. There was nobody streaming. So I figured I'd jump in. Um, I, I don't know what the UK schedule is or the German schedule for that matter. So if I get any information, I will pass that along to you. Um, or at least I'll post it someplace, but, um, yeah. <clears throat> okay. So UK streams. <laughs> Monday 12, just Monday. Wait a minute. Oliver's saying Monday at noon and 2 PM every week, just one day a week. Where did you get that? <clears throat> Other streams are now every few weeks in between are the German and French ones. Wow, Hamid, hello, welcome in. I did not know that. I did not know that. Um, so I may be coming back to my noon time zone, maybe? We'll see. Uh, David says the next series is the 24th through the 26th at 12 to 1.30. Okay. Before, oh my gosh. I, I can't, uh, I am, I'm trying to keep a schedule, trying to figure out when I'm going to stream, when I'm supposed to stream, because I don't want to stream when the UK stream is going because I enjoy being there and chat. Um, but it, uh, there's, I, as of right now, I feel like there's no consistency and I've not seen anything to do with any schedule on their discord. And so I can't plan when I want to stream like today. I had no idea, no clue if I was going to stream today. I didn't know, you know, I, or if I was going to be streaming at two, 233 I don't know. I don't know. Uh basically for the next few weeks UK streams are only on Monday. Uh I'm a big fan of you need some creative idea tips. Amid Here, screenshot this. <clears throat> there you go. We have a community challenge that's going to be starting soon. It's not starting yet. But it is called the creative circus right there. That is the tag and hashtag and title. And here are all the briefs. So there you go. <clears throat> you want ideas? Boom, there's your ideas. <laughs> Difficult to see always in motion. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to, I'm, uh, I'm going to try something at some point. Um, you know, I don't, I'm not trying to complain or be greedy or be selfish. That's the word. I'm not trying to be selfish and I'm not only worried about me. Um, and I know I sound like it right now, so I apologize. I'm trying not to be so, okay. There's definitely a new schedule. Yes. Ugh. All right. I'm just making sure I didn't miss anything in chat. All right. Let's end this. Thank you everybody for being here today was a blast. And um, I'm looking forward to this new challenge and seeing what you all create. 
and what I can possibly create. So have a great day. I will see you in the Adobe Lives coming up in a few hours. Um, everybody stay safe, stay creative. Jane, if you're still here, stay warm and just be nice. Thank you, everybody. Have a great day. Bye.